I have been hearing a lot of good things about this Westlake 7 billion version 2 model, especially when it comes to role play and short story writing and poem writing. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get this model installed locally on your Windows system, plus we will be testing out its capabilities, especially in terms of role play and some short content writing. Westlake 7 billion is built upon a vast corpus of diverse text, enabling it to generate contextually relevant responses in various scenarios. With its impressive size of 7 billion parameters, this model excels at understanding nuances in language and producing creative output. The key feature of this model is its role play capability. Westlake 7 billion can seamlessly adapt to different character personas and engage in dynamic conversations while maintaining consistency throughout the interaction. It can generate believable dialogues across various genres, including fiction, non-fiction, historical events or fantasy worlds. This model is also proficient at generating original content such as stories, poems, essays, news, articles and much more. Its ability to capture the essence of different writing styles makes it an ideal tool for creative writers seeking inspiration or assistance in their projects. Westlake's extensive training allows it to comprehend complex context and generate responses that align with given situations. It can handle multiple topics simultaneously, making it versatile across various applications. As a language model, Westlake 7 billion continuously improves its performance through ongoing training on new datasets. Now, you need to have good prompts in, in order to get good response out of this model. Once you have that sorted, you can do creative writing, education, even some sort of gaming in sort of uh, dynamic non-player character games or even you can do customer support or social media generation with it. Okay, enough theory. Let's go to my Windows system, which you can already see, and launch LM Studio, which is a tool I'm going to use in order to load this and then download and install this model. First thing, launch LM Studio, type Westlake in the bar, and then just click enter. I already have downloaded one of the top quantized version from Lone Striker, and then just click on this folder icon to confirm and then go to these three dots and then from here let's make sure to that our GPU is set to max and then let's load the model. And you can keep an eye on the resource usage at top left. Model is almost loaded. Let's wait for it to come back. Let me make the screen a bit bigger. Much better. Okay, model is loaded. Now let's try out on the role play. The first prompt is around role play, and I'm asking it You are at a cozy cafe on a rainy evening. Lost in a book, suddenly a stranger sits across from you, their eyes locking with yours. Start a conversation that evolves into a whirlwind romance. You see how good is that? It is just doing the whole role play thing, dialogue by dialogue, and then going from there. And it is writing the whole story around it. Let me go up a little and let's read it a bit, not much. Of course, we can't read it a whole. But I want you to focus on the expressions of the dialogue. The stranger is smiling warmly. And then put a pickup line that, but your choice of literature seems quite intriguing. May I ask what captivates you in this rainy evening and me? The stranger is um, making dialogue with you. And then hello, thanks for noticing. And then stranger, certainly. Stranger that sounds delightful. Me, oh yes, my all-time favorite classic romantic novel. How cool. Stranger nodding. And then the whole gesture postures are there, smiling broadly. And then let's stay in touch. How good is that? Okay, now let's try to ask it another 
a poem writing mantra masing write a poem about the sensation of fingertips tracing patterns on bare skin capturing the essence of desire and intimacy in the digital age okay, let's see okay now in this one let's go up and see what happens so look at the poem whispers in the dark untold secret shared through delicate fingertips a language beard wow wow patterns trace upon your bare skin fair a dance of touch as we were not there can you believe this this has been written by an ai not by um you know world famous poet in this age where digits reign supreme you find intimacy within a digital dream okay cool this one is lame but anyway this in this modern world where love is expressed to keys and screens that seems to caress we find ourselves connecting through the ether bridging hearts with tenderness from afar very nice Okay, let's ask it another one. Now, I missed the I here, so I'm asking it in a bustling metropolis. Two urban explorers meet by chance in an abandoned subway station. As they navigate the dimly lit tunnels, they uncover not only the city's forgotten history, but also a deep connection between themselves. Let's see. Okay, now look at this one. Let's go up a little, and you can see that. It has just written it in a poem style because I didn't mention it, so it has just carried on from the previous one, as you can see. Amazing. Let me reload the model to clear the chat. I'll delete the previous chat so that it won't write it in all stories. Okay, that is good. Let me ask it this one. Now I'm saying this is mainly around the story writing. So I'm saying in a sleek high rise apartment overlooking the city skyline. Two lovers engage in a late night game of truth or dare that pushes the boundaries of trust and vulnerability, revealing hidden desires and secrets beneath the surface. Can you believe that? Let's see what happens. Wow, so it's a short story, but amazing, you know, prose here. Okay, let me ask it a um, maybe new story situation. I'll say, write a short news story about a two-headed snake found in bush in maybe in sydney outskirts sydney wow look at the adding the periphery so outskirts it has just taken it the periphery resident near the outskirts of sydney were left awestruck after coming across Sorry, go up after coming across a rare two headed snake slithering through the backyard. How cool! Because we have the backyards in the outskirts for sure. And now it's the olive python species due to screen hue and size. Look at the creativity of the model. Now it has also even talking about some Michael Gaither, curator of Australian reptiles at Sydney's Teronga Zoo, a very, very awesome zoo here in Sydney. Look at uh, I'm not sure if Michael Gether is the right name, but look at the, you know, amalgamation and blend of the facts with the story because we have the Teronga Zoo and there is no two-headed snake, but still, how cool is that? Amazing, amazing stuff. So that's it, guys. You can see that how creative, how, you know, innovative this model is. I am very impressed by this model. Really, uh, I think spot on model, one of the best model in terms of role play I have seen in a time. I'm actually surprised that I didn't uh, do a video on it before because it's around, I think, two to two and a half months old model now. But anyway, I will drop the link to its model card in video description. Play along with it. Let me know what do you think. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.